Hi, I'm author philosopher Ronald e. Springer. Today, let's draw some conclusions about the moral concepts that have caused so much trouble in our lives. It's time to clean house. The results of these old codes should be clear now. If the mind is negated, men's actions will be mindless. If we preach selflessness, selves will be destroyed. If we preach unconditional love, the conditions will be deplorable. Spirit murderers ask us to worship the sick as a semi-conscious acknowledgement of their own condition. Their motive is the exact inverse of the self-made. We worship the strong, the able, and the competent because we actively seek to gain our own strength, ability, and competence. Self-made men respect living values and practice living patterns to attain them. Spirit murderers claim to respect living values but practice death patterns to attain them. Health, wealth, and prosperity are touted on both sides, but while we initiate the precursors to make them happen, they do not. Then they're surprised when their ends match their means and they achieve destruction instead. The test is so simple. Any pattern contrary to life will achieve its opposite. We excuse them by saying they know not what they do, but one must identify a thing's nature to accept or reject it. To say no is to understand. All men have dreams, but only self-made man exalts the effort necessary to achieve them. Spirit murderers skip the middle steps of cognition in all these anti-concepts and move straight to reward. They see and they seize, two-stepping their way to destruction, twisting morality against life just to pacify their own madness. Everyone dreads the feeling of a moral failure. No one wants to be that kind of an outsider. Guilt is a correctional facility in itself for those who really want to live, but it's a brutal trauma to experience if undeserved and is a sacrilege if imposed dishonestly. When you work hard and accomplish something great, then hear you're a greedy, selfish hater of mankind, you should be mad. When we reach our limit and get offended, they tell us not to take it personally. Well, I'm here to tell you, take it personally. Look at your accuser. Steady eyes will see the way. Until next time, for MoralArmor.com, I'm author philosopher Ronald E. Springer.